Hey, everybody. Sorry about the poor lighting here. I don't have much light in my house, and, uh, and it's quiet right now. And hopefully this will work out. Uh, everybody went into town. The kids are not back home from school, so uh, I had to put my lamp down this way. Anyways, I just wanted to go over a few uh, recent pickups that I have. I, Jay does, has been doing his recent his weekly pickups. I don't. Uh, do as much as he has so this is about a month's worth of stuff some of the stuff just came in for Black Friday I ordered online and two things I picked up from uh, the store I work at Walmart so I picked up two movies that were on sale there from that but anyways the first thing is not movie related I, I wanted to pick up uh, tell you I picked up Paul McCartney's Egypt Station this is the Explorers edition which has the uh, album Egypt Station and then the bonus tracks on there like Get Started, Nothing for Free, Frank Sinatra's Party, Sicky, Sick, Sicky, 62nd Street, Who Cares, full length version, Get Enough, Come On to, to Me Live, For You Live, Confidant Live, and Who Cares Live. Anyways, the, there was a big suitcase, one for about 500 bucks that he was selling. And that's Egypt Station. That's my CD I just got in today. And then we have a Dollar General that's down the road for me. I went in there to pick up a few things. And I came across this here for $4. It's uh, previously viewed Nebraska uh, with Bruce Dern in it. I've watched it before. It's black and white film. Uh, enjoyed it immensely. So I was like, well, for 4 bucks. You can't beat that. So I picked that up. Then I also saw Valkyrie with Tom Cruise. That was supposed to be two dollars and ninety-five cents. But anyways, I wind up paying for for almost five dollars for it. But still not a bad deal. Um, any movie that Tom Cruise uh, dies in, not that I don't want him to die, but anyways, any film that he gets killed in. Spoiler. Uh, good for me, but anyways, I, I I enjoyed that film too. It's been a while since I've seen it, so I might watch it sometime soon. And it, I do like Tom Cruise. Most people don't. I do. Uh, so that was my Dollar General pickups. Um, I also follow a, a a film composer. His name is uh, Ben Modell. He does uh, silent film composing. Uh, he plays, uh, he does, uh, he'll play screenings of silent movies and he, uh, he's an accompanist and he plays with that. And he also has a, uh, a DVD company that, uh, that releases rare, um, films, done silent film and he puts music to it, most of them anyways, but it's called Undercrank Productions. And I have several of their titles and, uh. He has a few titles out with Marion Davies, the actress Marion Davies. And I picked this one up called Beauty's Worth. Uh, I think this came out in 1922. Anyways, a silent movie. Uh, Beauty's Worth. Um, worth checking out. The print's good. It's in collaboration with the Library of Congress. They do a 2K scan of the uh, print and then release it on DVD. He has one Blu-ray out with Marion Davies, which I'll be getting. I've been collecting his DVDs one at a time. Um, I have a complete collection of them. Um, and then I ordered some movies from the Warner Archives. Well, from oldies.com. Uh, uh, Gray 1951, Mike um, said there was a sale going on um, with them. And um, then there were seven ninety nine per title, so I jumped on a few of them. Um, this is not one of them. I got this from Amazon um, just before I found out about it. It's called Show People. Sorry, Marion Davies and uh, William Haynes. And uh, this is a girl who was starting out as acting. He's a comedian, and then um, she's starting out an actress, and then she sort of, sort of. Famous, 
uh, Charlie Chaplin has a cameo role in this film. Uh, it shows a lot of back scene, back uh, lot uh, footage of actual studios and stuff like that, and a lot of other uh, famous directors are in this as well. It's called Show People. I seen this on TCM oh, about ten years ago, so it'd be good to watch that again. Um, <clears throat> then from the oldies.com. Uh, I'm very into early, I'm into silent movies and early sound films. Films that, you know, that just come in uh, when, when transitioning over. And uh, one of those movies I remember watching when I was younger was a, a movie by Eddie Cantor, who was a singer uh, and vaudevillian uh, back in the day. He had a movie, and this is a play he actually called Whoopi. And you know, you know the, the song, famous song, uh, is making Whoopi. And this was a Technicolor, Technicolor early sound film from 1930. Yeah, so Eddie Cantor. Um, the comedy is pretty cheesy in it, you know, because it's from 1930. Vaudeville humor. But an interesting artifact nonetheless. Uh, just check it out. This just came in today. Um, another one from oldies.com. This is uh, Chaplin, Ch or Charlie Chaplin's uh, half brother, Sid Chaplin, and this is a uh, early sound uh, silent film, actually silent film with the original music score. It's called uh, "The Better Ole," based on a British comic strip from that time. So, uh, Sid Chaplin, uh, Charlie Chaplin's half brother. So check that out. Seven ninety nine. Uh, another early sound film, um, and we all know Al Jolson did the first, uh, claimed to be the first talking picture was the uh, jazz singer. This was the follow-up to it, The Singing Fool. i never seen this one. Um, it's an early sound picture. It, it has his classic songs in it, uh, It All Depends on You, Sitting on Top of the World, and um, Sonny Boy, which was his, I guess, his signature song, was in this film. So, Al Jolson, The Singing Fool. <clears throat> and the next one I got is uh, James Cagney's second film. This is a Warner Brothers film called The Doorway to Hell with Lou Ayers. Um, this came out right after, a couple of months after, All Quiet on the Western Front was released. Uh, Lou Ayers was in that. The stars Lou Ayers, but uh, James Cagney steals the picture in this film. Uh, great gangster film. Um, I watched a bit of it the other night until I fell asleep. Right, Ian? Yeah, I fell asleep. So, it was late. So, anyways, Doorway to Hell, the second film by James Cagney. Got that oldies.com for $7.99. Then, I got... Um, I picked up some Criterions, um, the sale was on, and the first one I got, actually I bought before the sale because uh, I'm in the group called Five Grumpy Old Bastards, and we, we were doing a movie, uh, we, we, they picked a movie called The Three Women, which happened to be on Criterion, so I paid full price for it, but it, it was worth watching, I, I didn't care for the film so much, I'm, I'll have to re-watch it again, um, because everybody else in the group actually enjoyed the movie. I'm the only one who didn't care for it too much. But I'll give it a rewatch again um, with a different set of eyes. But uh, three women. Um, picked this up. Um, me and my mother in law watched this uh, over Thanksgiving. It was uh, A Face in the Crowd with Andy Griffith. Uh, <clears throat> I've always heard about this film. Um, wasn't uh, I, I I like Andy Griffith, um, you know the Andy Griffith show, but I uh, wasn't too keen about uh, getting his films. But um, uh, Blue DVD collector 1974 uh, James he recommended this film uh, in one of his videos, so I took a chance and I actually fell in love with this film. It, the film I do like of uh, uh, Andy Griffith is No Time for Sergeant. Um, which I need to get. Um, I'm not sure if there's a Blu-ray release for that, but 
It was a nice picture on this one here, facing the crowd. <clears throat> one I've been wanting for a while, um, and then sadly Peter Fonda passed away a few months ago. Uh, Easy Rider. So I picked this up on Criterion. Great, great transfer. Uh, Jack Nicholson in it, and Dennis Hopper, and Karen Black. Uh, great, great film. Um, very much of its time. And, um, but the great film, if you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. I uh, picked up this film, Noir, uh, called Kiss Me Deadly, Mickey Spillane film, uh, based on Mickey Spillane, uh, novel, and, uh, has Ralph Meeker with Albert Decker, Paul Stewart, uh, like Paul Stewart, uh, I always remember him from Citizen Kane, um, Directed by Robert Aldrich. Kiss Me Deadly on Criterion. Great transfer. This is one of those movies that I rented on uh, Netflix DVD. And uh, we were talking about streaming a few months ago uh, and, and renting. And I rented this and, and I liked it so much I went ahead and bought it. It was called to Tokyo Story. And it's by uh, Yazuro. I'm going to... Uh, Uzo, Uzo, which I know I trashed that name. I mean, it was a great transfer, Blu-ray, Criterion. Um, <clears throat> and it's how the parents are getting older and how their kids' lives uh, are, you know, are not the same and they how their parents are kind of shuffled off on each child and, and kind of ignored. Uh, while well they while well they went to go visit their children in Tokyo, very great, great story. Uh, and then I picked this up actually a couple of months ago on Kino. I got to get the other one, which was uh, other Hitchcock film that they released. Uh, can't think of the name of it right now. But anyways, this one's Murder: Who Killed Agna Druce, starring Herbert Marshall and Nora Baring, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. And uh, great film. Uh, there's a f foreign language German film version of it uh, on here as well. I have not seen. It's called Mary from 1931. And uh, anyways, that that was on Kino. I bought that. Um, I had a ten dollar credit uh, from Amazon, um, and I used that and picked this up for seven bucks. And then, these are just the latest DVDs I got, uh, Blu-rays, uh, Avengers Endgame, right there, great, great ending to a story. This one I picked up when I was looking for Blu-ray deals on uh, Blu-ray.com, where they tell you Black, uh, Black Friday sales, uh, sales are going on. This was listed for $10, and i never seen it, but I like the cover, and, uh, the story of, of uh, the grave robbers back in the 1820s in Edinburgh. Uh, Burke and Hare was the, the, the story about that, the famous story. A, a you might know that from probably his history class back in, in Wales. But uh, this is talking about that, Patrick Stewart and uh, uh, God. Julian Sands. Jonathan Price, Twiggy, and Timothy Dalton. Timothy Dalton is the one I'm trying to think of, James Bond. So, The Doctor and the Devils. Blind by. Haven't watched it yet. I'll, I'll, I'll probably watch it soon. Picked this up on for $7.99 on Amazon Red Heat. Schwarzenegger movie. Kind of fill a hole, some, some of my Schwarzenegger holes. And then come to find out this was released on 4K. I don't have a 4K TV or, or player, but... Um, but it has been upgraded so but anyways i enjoyed it the picture quality was good even though you can tell there was some work done to it um sorry james belushi and arnold schwarzenegger picked this one up for the wife she's a bet medler fan beaches with barbara hershey uh, first time i ever watched it with her it came out in 1988 good girl chick flick Picked this $7.99 Black Friday deal because it was cheaper than the Blu-ray. Got the 4K 
comes with a Blu-ray, Spider-Man Far From Home. Me and my grandson are looking forward to watching uh, this one. Another rental I got. I'm a Beatles fan, big Beatles fan. And I enjoyed this picture, and I got it for $9.99 uh, on Amazon yesterday with Hamish Patel. So, me and the wife, the wife hasn't seen it, and we were, were planning on watching it on her day off. Grandson's also a uh, Fast and Furious fan, and he likes the cars. But I'm also a fan of the films. Actually, I actually like Jason Statham myself, and Idris Elba is one of my favorite actors now. Now, modern actors. Um, Hobbs and Shaw. Fun, good, f fun flick. Nothing serious. Then, this the I picked this up Black Friday at my store. I actually picked it up on Saturday for $3.99. Home Alone. Didn't have it in the collection. Surprise that I didn't. Um... So, planning on watching this one with the grandchildren. And then I did get this one for my grandson, Bentley. He liked this movie. We rented it, and uh, it was on sale. He likes The Rock. He likes John Cena. So, fun film, Rampage. And then finally, uh, well, almost finally, picked up the 4K John Wick 3. And I know it's really dark here, sorry. Um, anyway, it's cheaper than the Blu ray. Comes with the Blu ray. So, John Wick 3, great action films. I love, I love those John Wick series. <coughs> and that's it. Comments are welcome.